Hey everyone, welcome back to today's video. It is going to be a nest with me. It's not gonna be like my cleaning videos. I'm just gonna show you what I'm doing um, and just try to get as much done as I can. I'm currently 30 weeks pregnant with little boy and yeah, we're 10 weeks out. Nothing's ready at my house. We had our sprinkle two weeks ago, so now we just need to get everything rolling. Um, we cleared out Anthony's dresser and we sold it so it's no longer here and I'll just go through all that in a second I would like to reorganize my cabinets again in my kitchen because Anthony's just been shoving stuff everywhere and I need to clear out those um, drawers in my entertainment center again I have a little um, car over here and I have so much stuff downstairs that I kind of just want to get through it and put it into categories and just see how much clothes I have and just like kind of like put things in piles so I know what I have and where they're going type of thing am I going to need this for later do I need this immediately um that type of thing um and just start getting that all ready so let me just show you what's going on in our bedroom because obviously um Alfie will be in our room for the first couple of months and then we're trying to figure out where um Alfie's gonna go <laughs> we live in a three-bedroom um, townhouse in Philadelphia we rent so uh Lily has the front room if you're new here Lily is 13 she has the front room my son Oliver who was four has the middle room and we have the back room Oliver has the smallest room and we were hoping to have the boys um eventually share a room when uh Alfie is like completely like sleep trained um which we don't know if we're gonna like transition from our room into Ollie's room or we're gonna put Lily down the basement and transition um Alfie into his own room or put Lily in the middle room whatever um works best we'll just see how it goes or we might just end up buying a house before he's completely sleep trained but for now he's going in here so let me show you all right so this is where the dresser and the mirror combo was um anthony got rid of an entire bag of clothes which is right there we're gonna donate that and this is the cart i actually bought this cart for work but i brought it home um so it does have some stuff on it but i was able to buy more organizers just in case and i know it's rose gold but it's mostly for me so i really don't care and if i want to buy i'm not gonna buy a new one they're like 30 dollars 40 dollars for one of these rolling carts um if anything i'll just spray paint it a different color if i really want to um we did go shopping for like all the necessities for um the bag our um our hospital bag which will be coming up soon so i just have that sitting there because i want to pack my bag um in the next few weeks and just have everything ready to go um so i just have like this is just a hot mess um but we were able to fit a lot of stuff into anthony's um closet so he got one of these cubes like i do and he basically just put all his stuff in there this needs to be cleared out and put downstairs and then he just has like stuff up here that we're eventually gonna have to get through but this is his closet he could do what he wants with it but now our room looks so much bigger like we have all this space to put baby boy right here um so obviously the cart and um this will actually be over here eventually this little table this is actually anthony's side um i can no longer fit in between the bed and the radiator right there so we're switching sides and i will be mostly dealing with ollie anyways or alfie anyways so this is going on the other side and i'm getting a mini fridge to put right here so that will be like my end table um so yeah this is like where alfie's go i know it's a lot to like imagine as we're standing here but like i said anthony's going on the other side and the mini fridge is going next to the bed um and if anything the cart and the bassinet will be kind of closer to me so i can use it for breastfeeding pumping um have the baby next to me and we're actually talking about me being downstairs for the first couple of weeks because anthony has to go to work full time still after the baby's born so uh, my we're probably gonna have stuff up here if i'm having my c-section and he's home with me for about a week and then we're probably just gonna take it all downstairs because it's easier that way 
if you guys were here for my last video, this was completely empty, but Anthony has now stored like the bigger containers and just random junk in this drawer. But because this is empty up here, I'm gonna move it all over here so I can make room for the bottles again over here because this is where I want the bottles to go. So I'm just gonna take all this out. And just restack it up here. I honestly don't really care about these as much as I care about this one, so I'm just gonna leave that like that for now. So that's done. All right, it's not looking too bad. It's just the switch and some games. So I'm just gonna take these downstairs again. Um, but this is where I'm gonna put diapers and wipes down here in the living room so I don't have to worry about having something out and about. So, empty. All right, this is the chaos that is my basement. It is now starting to move forward again. Um, so I have a lot of clothes and stuff up here, bulk items. I just really need to get through this. Um, so I think I'm gonna put anything that I really need right at this very moment out here so then Anthony could start grabbing it. There's that too. And just start um, categorizing stuff. So we can kind of get an idea of what we need to grab. This is obviously going to be a quick um, nest with me because I'm only 30 weeks and I don't know where anything's going. I kind of don't want to wash anything just yet. Um, and I forgot to say in my last video what my doctor said about um, my severe freaking pain. He basically told me to wear a belly band and for the dots on my, when I wake up in the morning, um, to immediately eat. He told me I am drinking enough water so I don't have to worry about that, but the spots might, it's not preeclampsia because my blood pressure is fine. It's because I'm hungry. Never heard of that before. So, I've been eating as soon as I wake up and it's usually a bowl of cereal. <laughs> so um, honestly it's not helping 100% because I'm still seeing it throughout the day but I guess that's fine because as soon as I see it I start eating. Um, but anyways I still have 10 weeks to go and I still feel like he's coming early but not like tomorrow so I'm just gonna get what I need to go into like my bedroom what needs to go into the living room stuff like that categorized and like I said I might just like uh put all the clothes into like order all my breastfeeding essentials into one spot all my one diapers into one spot um stuff like that so I kind of just want to get through that I feel like it's just gonna be a lot of me just moving stuff around um, I have a lot of like diaper rash creams and shampoos can shampoos but lotions stuff like that like I said I just want to get through it so that's what we're gonna do right now um, and hopefully I can just figure it out I also need to see if the covers that I bought fit the bassinet um, so that's like on my to-do list but that's going to be in another video along with the i bought dock dot covers off of amazon but they aren't dock tot so i don't know if they're actually going to fit it um because dock tot covers are like 95 dollars each you might as well just buy a whole new dock tot because they're only 200 dollars. that's wild to me i refuse to spend 200 dollars on an extra cover so i bought some for like 30 dollars, and i'll let you know if they actually work um, but I need to check those out and like I'm not going to do that until closer to time. Um, luckily it's all on my registry so I can return it at like within a year's mark. So that's perfect. Um, so yeah, let me just like start getting through this. Um, there will be more nesting videos as we get closer to time. I'm probably going to do one around like 35 weeks in the next couple of weeks and just like actually you know nest and get things done um but there might be things here or there in just like my vlogs but for right now i'm just categorizing and getting stuff where it needs to go if you're around the same um 
I feel like a lot of people around the same time as me right now at 30 weeks do nurseries um, but since I don't have a nursery to do I just have like a bunch of stuff just chilling everywhere so I feel like that's where it starts to get like weird with uh, co-sleeping compared to like a full nursery because a lot of people will start doing their nurseries around 30, 30 weeks um, and start you know getting that already but I don't have that to do so Sorry guys, this is the best that I can get. So let's just uh, start categorizing stuff. And if I get tired, I'll pick this up again tomorrow. <laughs> stars come to shine when it's dark from so far away show us where we are what makes the sun go to sleep every night and what's it dreaming of i wonder sky sometimes hides behind the clouds maybe it's just like me a little bit scared of heights why does the rain always keep on pouring down when it's gray outside it really makes me wonder it doesn't look like I did a lot but I got a bunch of stuff for the diaper bag right here diaper bag essentials books toys laundry mama stuff organization these are all bags of clothes <laughs> um, and then I got a couple swaddles here um, and then I pretty much just shoved all of the pacifiers and pacifier clips into a bag. I think I have way too many pacifiers. I might be returning some that I've actually bought myself, so that's a lot. These are all the bottles um, and breastfeeding stuff. I do have a bunch of stuff back there, but I'm running out of room to move. And I have more stuff out here, but I'm thinking I should wait for Anthony to come help me. So, um, I have like a basket full of clothes down here and stuff like that. I have a whole bin of toys from Ollie down there. Um, so yeah, this, like I've gotten all of this pretty much taken care of. I just need to, uh, like bring it out pretty much. Like here's all the sheets and stuff for the Daca tots and blankets. Um... And I'm pretty sure all that's back there pretty much is like um, diapers and wipes. But there's like a couple things behind this case and I can't get to it. Oh, and there's a bag right here. Alright, let's see. I also made a bag full of like um, creams and vitamin D, stuff like that. So that's what I'm doing with that bag. Um... So see, we have some Tylenol or Andy ointment. Put that right in there. We got a new toy that goes right there. Um, vitamin D drops in there. 
Um, body wash in there. We got some rags, so there. A teether, there. Sleep sack, there. This would be miscellaneous, and I don't really have a pile, so I'm kind of just shoving that over here randomly. Um, and then these are just um, breast pads, so they just go over here in this in this pile, just like that. So yeah, I have like piles going on. We're getting somewhere. Like I said, I can't really reach back there to get everything. So we have to pull everything out and I'm already running out of breath. So yeah, I'm gonna have to wait for Anthony. So like I said, it was just gonna be a big mess. Um, it's more like I have to bring everything out and then put it where it needs to go, but I don't want it sitting there for like 10 weeks. So I'm just trying to get through it and see what else I need. And I just realized how many pacifiers I actually have. And that's just a hot mess. So I don't know if I should be returning duplicates or anything like that. So. Let me know in the comment section down below. Um, Ollie was only, he only liked one specific brand and it was like the Ultra Light Philips brand. I don't know. Um, and it's the only ones he would take. So everything else was kind of just like thrown in the trash. Um, because you open them and you can't return them after that. So let me know in the comment section down below. Um, but I'm dying. And I just want to go upstairs and relax. So I'm going to end the video here. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I know it was a mini nest with me. But there will be more to come. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.